Welcome to 5 Steps to Dealing Effectively with the Media for your profession and industry sector. In the next hour and a half or so, you'll have concrete points, proposals and strategies for how to deal effectively with the media, all backed up with real video footage showing you how others have worked well with the media or come unstuck. In the course, we're also going to take a look at various kinds of media contact, including not just them seeking you out, but also you making a point of engaging with the media on your own terms. This could help your profile and even your profit margins. We'll look at what the media want and how they want it. We'll also give you some idea of how you can tell whether your dealings with the media have been a success. And all this in five straightforward steps. What could possibly go wrong in dealing with the media? Well, take a look at the first video. Even the professionals can get it wrong. You'll see only 20 seconds with nowhere to hide, but it feels like a lifetime. So now you know. Here's Alex Deacon with the weather. This course is for your profession and industry sector in two ways. Firstly, for anyone who may need to speak out in public, such as professional individuals, CEOs and any spokesperson. Secondly, it's also a very important way of discovering who in your organisation should or shouldn't be put in front of cameras, microphones and interviewers. So, let's get back to our five steps. We're starting off chronologically. Before you get involved at all, we'll think about different angles on interviews. Then we'll put this in the context of seeing what the media want, before taking a specific look at being in various interviews, then taking a more in-depth look at dealing with radio and television, before finally seeing how you can take the initiative in your dealings with the media. As a bonus at the end, we have included a taste of how to deal with the media during a crisis, or crisis management as it's usually called.